There is an open tag running around right now. That was started by Slicey Dicey, I believe. And it is your top five EDC knives. I've got so many knives. It is really difficult. I mean, really difficult to break it down into just five. I do use them. I still got tape and stuff on this Benchmade here. When it comes to Benchmade, I love Osborne Designs. I've got these out because they're all Osborne's. You know, the 940, of course, is a classic. A step up from that would be the Rift. And if you get the Rift, you got to get the Contego, the big brother, because I had to get the Auto Rift. I got this one because it reminded me very much of the 943. It was a toss-up that I want to get this or the 9... Is it the 943? I believe it's the 943. The drop point version of the 940, whatever model number that one is. So it was a toss-up between this knife and that one. And since I love assisted openings and automatics, I went with this one. I saw this at Cabela's recently for $113. They had this and the valet both priced at $113. I almost bought one just to have a spare, but I, I talked myself out of it. This, of course, being the uh, Benchmade Barrage, Osborne Design. If I had to pick one out of this entire bunch, man, I don't know if I could do it. So we're going to come back to that. For my Dalton knives, I've got the Drifter. I was informed recently that the Drifter and the 06 slash 1 are two different models. But looking at prototypes on the Dalton picture gallery, the only difference I could see between the Drifter and the 061 was the blade shape. Drifter had recurve blades and the 061 had Warncliffe blades. However, going back through it, there were prototypes that had the Warncliffe blade. So I don't know what this model is technically called. When I purchased my red one from PVK, it was listed as a Drifter. So that's what I've always called it. But this model is my favorite Dalton. I love the button. I love the way it actuates. Just everything about it. So this is definitely going to be in my top five. When it comes to Microtech, the SOCOM Delta, and the SOCOM Elite have always been a favorite of mine. I've got several versions of each knife. This is an S30V. The one I just showed was an LMAX. This is the SOCOM Elite Custom, one of the older SOCOM Elite Autos. Just a standard drop point. I'm going to count the SOCOM as one of my top five. This will always make a top five list for me. The Marfion Custom Annex. This knife handle is one single piece of titanium. The blade is an LMAX. And although it looks big, it's not really. It's about a three and a half inch blade. The handle is very light. They've, uh, they've done an excellent job on this knife. So that one will be in my top five. Next up, we got a couple customs. This is a Jason Larivo Fractal. I got this when Jason was just starting out. So this is one of his really early models. This is actually, I think, number 10 of this design. It's got C-Tech scales, titanium bolsters, CPM 154CM steel. It's a free floating dropper. I've never taken it apart, but it's on bearings of some sort. I've got that one, and then I've got my Will Moon MK10. Now Will gets a lot of heat online and it's usually 
self-inflicted, so I can't say much on that. But this knife, I really enjoy. I enjoy being able to change the scales out, changing the blade out. It's just versatile. You can change the entire look of the knife just by changing one or two simple, simple things. You can even just change the backspacer out. If I had to choose between these two, I don't know. I like them both. I'd probably go with the Will Moon. So that's gonna be in my top five. Next, a few other uh, miscellaneous knives here. I've got the Custom Knife Factory Sequoi. This is a free floating dropper. Fantastic knife, but it's just a little too long for my likes. That blade is about four inches, if I'm not mistaken. The blade is just a little too long for my everyday uses, but I do like this knife. I do like carrying it. I've also got the M. Custa Jazz. It's in Damascus steel. It's got that awesome music note. Beautiful wood. Really cool gear backspacer. Connie bought me this one. So it's got sentimental value for me. When I first got back into knife collecting, I knew automatic knives were my thing, so the first knife I picked up was this Piranha. I've had this knife for so long and used it so many times, the, f the spring actually broke on me recently. Contacted Piranha, and they said they, they could replace it, send the knife back, or I could just go on to Blade HQ and buy a new one. So that's what I did. Turns out these springs are like eight bucks a piece. I found them cheaper in another spot since then, uh, lightening out the front knives on Instagram actually sells them. So if you just contact that guy, he can uh, he can get you set up for like two or three bucks a pop. But this was the knife that got me back into knife collecting and I've had it ever since. I carry it, I use it. This is a great knife for me. Microtech Halo. This was like the holy grail of out the front knives. It was my second Microtech purchase. It was also the first knife I think I purchased that was over 400 bucks. This cost me, I wanna say either five or $600 at the time. It was not a cheap knife. Got this back in 2014. Very cool, very stabby. And I have actually carried this and used it at work. Again, super long blade, no pocket clip, not the most ideal carry. Ultratech, got this in 2014 as well. All right, so out of these five knives, I'd have to say the Piranha would be my pick. So these are gonna be my top five. Dalton, Drifter, 06, Slash 1, Marfion, Annex, the SOCOM series. I can't just pick one Elite or Delta. I like them all, I like them all the same. My Will Moon MK10 and Piranha Pocket P1 model. Now all the guys have been throwing in like an extra honorable mention and this might actually surprise some folks but my honorable mention is going to be the Kirkshaw Energy both the large and the small they're basically the same knife just different sizes I like this knife so much I've got I think four might be just three I got three or four of the small versions and I've only got one of the large fantastic knife made out of 14 C 28 steel takes a wicked edge the small version is perfect size for me in EDC use. 
this was my first one and I used the heck out of it when I first got it. I've polished the blade a few times getting scratches and things out but the Kershaw Energy fantastic everyday carry knife. You cannot go wrong if you can get your hands on one however they are discontinued. They pop up on eBay Look for the 1740 or Kershaw Energy. It's spelled E N E R dash G. It's a Lee Williams flipper design. Yeah, this would be my honorable mention. The flipper tab goes down into the frame and becomes part of the jimping. Kind of sort of works. It's not super uh, super effective, but the fact you don't have a flipper tab flipper tab protruding down here. When you're making cuts, that doesn't get in your way, which is a pretty sweet design, especially considering nobody else was doing this back then. This one is dated June 06. There it is, guys. That's going to be my uh, contribution for the open tag that Slicey Dicey has running around. If you have any questions or comments, as always, leave them below. I appreciate you guys watching. Have a good one.